right. Hello, hello, hello. Can you all hear me okay? Hopefully I've sorted out any of the sound issues that we had last time. Let's turn the sound up even more. Hey, Canto Bands here, right from the very beginning. Story select. Here we go, time for the dark story. I'll zoom in just a little bit, there we go. Intruder alert, intruder alert, security breach at gate three. Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is awesome. moving Sounds to the, good. Of the underground base. All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formations. I just realised I've got the TV speakers on behind me as well. It's a round sound. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. I think we start as Eggman on this one. Yeah, we do. All right. Hope you're taking notes, Canto Bound, for the deep lore alert. as to how these games tie together. Let's see what Omocho has to say. Hold B button down to lock off. Release it to fire a homing missile. There's a sound. I'm a bit conscious that the game was too loud last time, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Hopefully that makes it a bit more pleasant to listen to as we're playing through. Let me open the door. Is there anything back here? Of course there is. Are we going to go to the Chow Garden every time? Sure. If I can get the key. Ugh, big jump. We got it. No. You'll have to grasp at straws. Any little connection. I think uh, with Sonic Adventure 2, it was only like a small portion of the original team that was actually involved. Wow, this looks very different on the Dreamcast. On the GameCube, this stage isn't bright red like this, it's just like normal shading. So that's pretty interesting to see. At least I don't think it's like this bright red anyway. I don't remember it being like that. Anyway, since last stream, I actually got some batteries for the VMUs and I've actually been raising the chow as well. So we can check out, you know, what happens when we put them back on the, on the actual console. Which will be cool to see. There we go, we can give him a gorilla too. Oh yeah, apparently the background colours also mean something. I'm definitely still going to do a separate Chow stream as well. I think that'd be really fun. Well, it may not be fun, but it'll be uh, interesting content anyway. And plus, I've always wanted to try and raise the three different types of Chow as well, so we'll see whether we can do that. Hey, we got an extra life. I don't really have any recollection of this level. Oh cool, did you have fun with it? It's a great reason to replay the levels to, you know, collect the stuff to feed them. And try and tra train them up to enter the races and stuff. It definitely um, gave me a lot of playtime as a kid. Especially because some of the emblems were locked behind, like, doing everything with the Chow Gardens. Ah! I lost all the rings. I do wish these shooting levels had a little bit more to think about. 
there isn't really anything more to do than just mash the B button. And some of the lighter ones in the dark story go, go on for a long time, if I remember right. Can we shoot that missile? Now can we shoot it? Or did we need to wait for all the doors to shut first? Now we can shoot it. Good job it didn't shoot me. It was aiming right at my face. Whoa, there we go. Level 1 complete. Yeah, having the VMUs has been really fun, actually. I've got one... Well, I've got two different ones in there, and I've been having them both on my desk while I was at work today, and they're both shouting at me that they've found something, or they need feeding, or whatever. So it's pretty fun. And they're actually slightly different, too. The original uh, Sonic Adventure 1 Chow thing has you sort of, like, moving sideways, like a platformer style, whereas the Sonic Adventure 2 one, he's walking into the screen. And in the first one, he asks you like Chow different World. places that you want to go and visit too, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we bring him out. There he is, Retro Two. I named that one Retro Two, and I named the one from the first game Retro One, so I don't get mixed up. I was surprised to see there's a little like fighting mini game in there as well, a little Chow battle thing that you can do. Hey, he's got a name now. And I did have a little look at a tutorial about how to raise them properly, and different animals uh, give them different stats. So if you want to raise the right one, you have to try and find the correct animals in the stages. And these different coloured capsules give them different stats as well. There's another one over there. I'll try putting him in there instead. We can give that one a name too. Slot 1, I think. I need to label these. The red one is Sonic Adventure 1, and the grey one is Sonic Adventure 2. I think he's, he's going in there. Slowly. Yeah, at least it works now. There we go, he is officially inside the controller. Let's head off to the next stage. Oh yeah, it can be annoying if the chows aren't leveled high enough to be able to do the different mini-games and stuff. I never read the stuff on the wall there, it said Exploration and Development of Space. Warning, something hazard. Exploration AX development of space. Oh, -ho, a machine. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Does he have any idea what he's actually doing here? There's a lot of wires, kind of reminds me of this room. I don't know why I worry about my sound levels if Sega can't even do it right. Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. Yes. 
Wow, what great power. I don't know how people can mistake him for Sonic. Enemy movement has the closest thing is that they're both hedgehogs. Copy that. Whoa, look how cool he is. I used to love him skating around like this. Woo. Oh, why has he stopped all the way over there? Ah! Get another hit. Right. I was pushing my luck a bit then, I know. I can't do the bounce attack yet either, that's how I usually take these guys out. There we go. I'm doing better than the Sonic version anyway. If you remember at the start of that playthrough, I had to restart the first boss. Let's see if I can get a cheeky hit in. Oh, apparently you're not allowed. Oh, I lost all the rings. This is Scorpion Troops hot shot. Oh, he's nearly dead. I like doing that as well. If you do the uh, spin and then jump, he does that weird backflip. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Do we get to play as Shadow this time? I hope so. I like Shadow stages, even though there's only four of them, if I remember right, you which is very disappointing. Top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Now we're back to the weird romance going on between these two. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who at me. Again, mess around, find out. He doesn't know why he wants it. I'm not mistaken. This is the master emerald of this world. Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Awaken a weird clone of Sonic and then just fly off to Egypt and steal an emerald for the sake of it. prevent the master emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's it. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Do we play as Rouge? Do we fight Ek? Do we fight Knuckles? Yeah, we're playing as Rouge. We get to uh, float around on the back of turtles in this one, if I remember right. <laughs> Which is always fun. What does he have to say now? Three pieces of the emerald are hidden somewhere around here. Watch the radar at the bottom of the screen and use hint. It's the best way to find them all. Let's hope I don't get completely lost like I did in Knuckles. Um, which stage was it? The uh, Aquatic Mine? Aquatic Mine, I think it's called. I got completely lost. There's the turtle. We'll show you what happens. Some For some reason, you stand on his back. And then... Oh. 
Maybe it's not going to happen. It usually takes you to a different part of the level, but maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh yeah, it seems like the um, the settings for the Dreamcast cables are better this time as well, because it was quite dark before. But I think I managed to fix all that. So it should look a lot nicer for this dream. So I'm improving slightly every time. Brighter image, better sound. What more could you ask for? Maybe a more entertaining presenter. On the ledge with three red circles. A high place. I'm on a high place. Oh, wow, okay. That wasn't the one I was looking for, but we found one. It's kind of a shame it doesn't show you all three at once, like Sonic Adventure 1. In a jar on the ledge. In the big oasis. That's on the other side. Am I allowed on his back yet? Oh, you have to press B. There we go. There we go. We have teleported to the other oasis. And there's one around here somewhere. No? Yeah, we found it. I don't know what that skull did to Rouge. She freaked out a bit then. Final one. We've got loads of animals to give to the chairs this time. What is that? It's gotta be close. Is it underwater somewhere? The camera doesn't like me being under here. Seems like it's under here somewhere. Uh, I can't see. Come on, surely I don't need a hint. It's right there. It's right here. Can anyone see it? Oh, it's right in between the springs. That's cheating. There we go, got it. I got it. Woo. That was nice and easy. Three minutes fifty one. That's about the the time I would hope for one of these treasure hunting sages to be, honestly. Not too bad, I guess. To get the A ranks you have to try and do them without any hints. Which is uh, Quite frustrating, especially on the massive space levels towards the end. Back to the chows. Let's drop off a million. Drop off a million animals. Oh yeah, A ranks are horrible. As a kid, I tried to get them all. And I got most of them. I was on like 160 out of 180 emblems or something and then my third party memory card corrupted itself and I lost everything. And I was so upset. Now the annoying thing is with the Dreamcast version, you can't see their stats. You just have to guess or put the, put the VMU back in. Which is really annoying. But anyway. The more you give him, the stronger he'll be. That'll do. Oh, I really do wish I would one day 100% Sonic Adventure 2. Because I really want to experience that Green Hill Zone for myself. The 3D Green Hill Zone that you unlock at the end of it. It would be so cool to see that. 
Return to the hidden base. Am I not even going to have any hint as to what's going on in this level? No cutscenes. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care Are you of sure? here first, then get inside. I gotta remember, I haven't got the hover ability. Or the ability to break through them boxes. That was instinctual. I was ready to smash them boxes open. This level's pretty much the same as the one that Tails goes through, but a bit more straightforward. I thought that was an enemy then, it was just the lantern. Ah, there we go, that almost hit me on the head. Okay, let's go get the key. Uh, 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 oh, I didn't know the middle of it could hurt me. Oh, okay, okay, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, Doctor. Sorry to the good Doctor. Yeah, that 3D Green Hill Zone was always my goal as a kid. And I've never managed to do it. Because those A ranks are just hell, some of them are. I can do most of them, but on some of the later missions, it's just impossible. And then you have to do the A ranks for all of the boss rush challenges and stuff too, which are really, really difficult. I don't know if you get anything extra for killing that silver one. I think you must get something. I haven't seen any power-ups yet. I thought I would get the power-up for the gun on this stage. Ah! Oh, I forgot I couldn't hover. Whoops, that was me being impatient. Come on. Why are you slowing me down? You're supposed to be a Sonic game. I was watching a video earlier, actually. Someone saying why they think Sonic Adventure 1 is better than Sonic Adventure 2. And basically they drag these stages out way longer than they need to be. Compared to Gamma's ones in Adventure 1, which are like a minute long. Some of these go on for like 10 minutes plus. And it is a bit much. And they did slow everything down a lot too. Ooh, that was close. But apparently it's a miracle this game got made at all, because it was done with a much smaller team than Sonic Adventure 1, surprisingly. I mean, Sega was going through a lot of issues in 2001, so it's understandable. It's impressive they managed to make the game as good as it came out, honestly. And it does push the Dreamcast a lot. It's really impressive, Adventure 2 is, but so is the first one, honestly. Yeah, there are a lot of things I prefer about the first one. The controls feel nicer. For one thing. Gamma's stages are a lot more fun than Eggman's. They said in that video that it would be cool if you could have like different weapons and power-ups 
they're uh, like assigned to different buttons on these stages. Oh, I didn't even see what happened then. It would be fun if there was a little bit more nuance to it rather than literally just holding down B and wiggling around to destroy everything in sight. Gotta be careful not to jump off into the quicksand this time. God, so many explosions. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be fun if there was more to worry about as well. Like, sure, there's a few enemies, but you can, like this, like you can take them out before they even have a chance to do anything. These are just a bit bland, honestly. Filler content. There should have been twice as many Sonic and Shadow stages and less of these. Too close. Oh no, E rank. Especially the fact that you need to play these stages like ten times if you want to get all the emblems. Oh well, we get to run around as Eggman with his weird spindly legs. Welcome to Chow World. I'm still thrown off that this music's different. Whee, look at him go. Woohoo. He goes so fast the camera can't keep up. Yup. Oh sorry. Yup. 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 Okay. Yup. I do like the Chow Garden Eggman. I found a funny gif earlier that I put on Twitter. Let me see whether I can show you. Or yesterday, was it? When I said I was going to replay it again. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it properly. But... Uh, you can't really see it. There you go. It's basically Eggman kicking the other Eggman off into space. There you go. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Eat. Look how tall he is. The chow can go under his legs. Oh, I don't want to hit him. Even though I'm evil. I just want to turn him into an abomination. Have it, have it, have it. Kick the animals, kick the animals. Perfect. And have a green vitamin tablet. <laughs> yeah, oh, my Sonic Riders game doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. I think the disc's too scratched. I really need to get a new one. Right, what on earth is going on in the story now? It's already jumped around a lot. In the space colony arc. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the Federal Like that really Reserve weird accent. Today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen Emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified Sonic? as the world renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. You couldn't see it was Shadow? Wait, that's a good point. How does he know that the password is Maria? Surely he knows what the computer does, but then he doesn't know what it does, and then... Yeah. <laughs> you can't explain any of it, honestly. Shadow can explain it. I don't think a lot of thought was put into the story, in all honesty. They were like, what looks cool? Let's do that. Let's do more of that. 
For all the people on the planet, go down in a capsule. For revenge. Yeah, and then you get to Shadow the Hedgehog and it has like 20 different endings. And none of it is canon. I don't know what's going on with Shadow. Should I play Shadow the Hedgehog at some point? I guess I should. Anyway, we finally get to have a fun level. Whee! Look at him being so cool and edgy. Shortcut, whoa. Oh my god, now I'm not playing the PS2 version. The PS2 version of Sonic Heroes is really bad as well. Definitely GameCube version all the way for them games. I can attempt to play Shadow the Hedgehog, I really don't enjoy it though. Mostly because of the stupid missions that it makes you do. Alright, Shadow's turn to see the chairs. It's such a shame that there's not more of this gameplay in the game because this is genuinely really fun. Ah! That's not really fun. I'm gonna try and go back up there. Is that cheating? Nah. It skips out that section. Oh. oh yeah, there's something else that is slightly better in the first Sonic Adventure, the homing attack's more reliable. There's a few points in this game where it kind of feels like it's not doing what you'd expect. Boom! I remember that explosion there. I played this game too much. Never played it on the Dreamcast though, and I have to say it feels quite good. Although there is something a little bit weird that someone pointed out to me, and since they pointed it out, I've never been able to forget. And that's the fact that you can't quite hold forward properly. It always moves very slightly to one side or the other, which is really strange. Oh, that's not fair. I never understood why the floor there doesn't have any gravity either. And for some reason I wasn't able to uh, blow that one up. I always wondered what would happen there if the uh, if the game didn't spin you back round to the front to the middle of that section. Whoa, I don't remember that on the GameCube, that giant knight statue head. Did anyone notice that then? Hey. And I remembered him there. Pretty straightforward level, but a pretty fun one. Yeah, it's definitely a fun one to replay. I don't think I did too well though. Only 39 rings. C, D maybe? Oh, B! Too easy for Too easy. Better than I thought I did. No. Ready for another incomprehensible cutscene? Oh, not yet. Got to go and feed the Jowers first. It's Shadow's turn. Welcome to Chow World. 
Welcome. Once again to J World. Where is he? There he is. I kind of miss having all the different environments from the first Sonic Adventure too. I mean, yeah, you can unlock other ones. You can unlock the hero and dark ones. But it's not the same as finding them. And getting to switch between them whenever you want. Another reason why the first Sonic Adventure is better. And in the, in the DX version they let you see the stats as well, so... Pretty much get the best of both there. Hey, is that Shadow? What? Oh my God, Sonic's on top of that robot. It all started. Boom, 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 boom. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. Oh yeah, I think on the Dreamcast that's uh, there's a smaller section to the right of that where the chow can swim. So it's slightly different. Chaos control. He said something. He didn't say what he wanted him to say. Can you see the TV on my camera? There you go. Now you can see the game twice. Whoa. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to war in the shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. Nice use of the uh, voice lines cutting each other off then. What is, he? what is he? Now it looks like I'm so good at the game I can play it backwards without looking. Okay, now we're on to uh, the first Rouge stage. No, the second one. Except this time we're looking for keys instead of emeralds. This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Beware of the beetle robot. Take cover in the shadows or else it will shoot a laser at you. Don't want to make those beetle robots. There. It's a little boom boo. Ever since last stream with uh, Knuckles' fight against King Boom Boo, I keep going. Blah, 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 blah. I think that's so fun. Oh no, the robot's chasing me. Green path. We're on the right track. We're very slightly on the right track. And then we're instantly not on the right track. Is it on the wall? Hey, there it is. Just hanging out in the corner. Hey, look, it's Gamma. Or something like him. There you go, Kanto Bound. There's another reference to Adventure 1. Alright, go away. I don't really want to follow it. What am I blowing up? Okay, I guess I'm going this way then. Yay, there's a power up. You can dig into the ground, select dig, or simply press the big button. I didn't realise I couldn't already do that. Is there anything in any of these holes? I still don't think I can go through them ones. Yeah, not yet. At least she doesn't keep going rats! Rats! Center of the ring. 
When scaling the walls, use B button to dig into the side of the wall. Why am I underwater? I'm just going wherever the game feels like taking me. Sometimes there's a key in there. I think it said central area. I can see it. Oh no, I can see a gorilla. Poor gorilla who's trapped in the ceiling. Is that a ghost hiding it? Be another one that's really obvious in the middle of Eggman's face. Yay! Last one. Sometimes these teleport you as well, but I'm not sure which ones do that. Ooh. Let me run fast straight into a ghost. Oh, nice. We're already on the right track. Bam, 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 bam. There's another reference to Adventure 1. I'm sure those monkeys are the same ones that are on the beach. Dark Chow. What do you mean by that? It's gotta be close. Oh no, the... Beetle thing's gonna come and attack me again. I don't get it. Dark main in the shadow, maybe? Is it there? Yeah! Oh, that's that's actually a clever hint. It was a picture of a chow on the wall. Dun, 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 dun. It's all too easy. Hey, another bee as well, not bad. Yeah, that was a pretty fun level, actually. Maybe I preferred that to Knuckles' one, anyway. Now let's go and throw some more animals at Retro 2. Whoa, loads of animals this time. Oh, oh yeah, you can you can walk everywhere on the, on the Dreamcast. I'm guessing if the chow goes in this little bit here, and then... Hey, you're not. Oh, are you retro too? Well, you've got the Simpsons mono bro now. Can you go up there? I don't think you can go this high up on the game keyboard either. It stops you. Can we go on that side? There's uh, invisible walls everywhere. Oh yeah, we can go up here as well. Not that there's really much exploring to do here. Right, let's turn him into a gorilla. I don't even know if feeding him all these animals actually helps his stats or if they just end up cancelling each other out because of the random nature of it. Right, I'll leave it 
now. Maybe I'll give him an orange. I presume they do some good. Or a coconut. Are they ready? Where's he gone? Tasty coconut thing. Apparently you can tell how they're feeling by the circle above their heads too. So I think he's content. Maybe. He didn't finish his coconut though. Oh well. Someone on Twitter's given me ideas for my 3D printer that I just bought. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. Rouge knows what it is straight away. It's a space transporter. Fifty years ago, what's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Lost colony. This is an Eggman stage. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. At least he knows where he is now. Don't really know how he got there. And I can't see. I think maybe the characters are supposed to feel like the person playing, like, yeah, I have no clue what's going on. Although I feel like the writers didn't really know how to tie everything together either. They're like, oh, that's a cool idea, that's a cool idea. How can we get them to go to Egypt and space and in a city? Because cities look cool to, to run around. The switch should be around here, but we're not going to let you move the camera. Or see anything. Does it? I'm pressing the switch and nothing happened. Why do enemies make this room dark? I literally can't see anything. And it's not my cables this time. I remember there's a bit on this stage where you have to jump up some boxes to get to the next platform above. I feel that's around here. It's useless to run around in circles. Find a way out of the maze. I would if I could see. Oh my god, I literally can't see. I don't think it's supposed to be this dark, is it? I don't remember it being this dark. I can see a balloon up there. I cannot see what's going on! I can't get up there, I don't think, because the roof's stuck and I can't move. And why does the camera keep spinning back around this way? Oh my god, I hate this so much. What the hell sort of stupid level design is this? Yo, 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 yo. 
You're gonna tell me to stop walking around in circles. Okay. I can see some rings. How do I go up? Is there something there for me to jump on? No. I think there's a ceiling there blocking me. Can I push the boxes? I really have no recollection of this at all. This is so stupid. Oh, okay. We found some boxes. And now I can hover. Still can't see anything. Oh, great, now I have to try and find that bit where I jumped up again. Is it there? This is what my nightmares look like. I swear it's not this dark on the GameCube. Oh, thank God. Thank God right up there. Whose bright idea was... Was it to make the entire level pitch black? Yo, yo. I thought the enemies were supposed to light the stage up. No. And I'm dead. Yo, yo. Yo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was never this dark. Okay, at least I know how to get that back up there now. Point number whatever that Sonic Adventure 1 is better than 2. Okay, I will not let go of the hover button. Yay, we have reached the checkpoint! Progress is being made very slowly. Oh, I thought that was a platform to stand on. Oops, my bad. Are you going to let me through? Do I have to... Find a random switch for some... reason? See, so these levels are just not fun. I'm yawning. It shouldn't be happening during a Sonic game. wait until we get to the one that's like 10 minutes long later on. I get it, the space colony is supposed to be some spooky, scary place so you don't really know what's going on. I mean, this, this looks cool. I'll give them that. Nice a nice atmosphere on this section. I mean, it's not really fun. All you need to do is just spin the analog stick round and lock onto everything. There's no skill involved. Yosh, 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 yosh. Wow, Eggman, you're so good at shooting things. Oh my god. Where did you learn to shoot? The enemies don't even hit you. They just fired that straight over me. And we're out. Wasn't that fun? Oh, I could not even see there was an enemy there. Okay, we need to... We need to trust the camera won't kill me on the way back. Yo. 
Maybe my game's broken. I really don't think it's supposed to be this dark. Anyway, we made it. Finally. Dun, 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 dun. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I should have tried a little harder. Should have tried making your level more fun. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. So Destroying an entire planet. <sighs> I'm tired today. Father's legacy, but it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, Eggman doesn't really seem too bothered. Large amounts of energy are necessary. Does he want to destroy the planet or not? I don't think he knows what he wants. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Now it's starting to click for him. To reactivate the machine. Even though he got the Chaos Emerald before he even knew that Shadow existed. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds. Use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of Do you of really my own. think it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, a, deal. a, reaction, a reaction that it may have with the master emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I apparently Twitch says you're not allowed to say kill. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other chaos emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. So what does Rouge get from this? The planet is going to be blown up, so she won't have any need for any treasure anyway. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Absolutely sure. Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. Uh, come on, let me play another shadow stage so I don't fall asleep. Allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, bad girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try. So Let's don't do it. Me. As long as I don't have to play as you again, I'm down. Who we got first, Shadow or Rouge? Rouge's secret weapons bed. Rush into the military base. Steal the Chaos Emerald. And then blow up the island. Oh no, we do have another Eggman level first. Fine. Let's blow up everything we can see. Now. 
too much Eggman in this game. Let's rescue that little sheep, just because. Look how many shots we can get in here for no good reason. Ready? Whoa, we got a perfect score, whatever good that does. Destroying all them didn't do anything. Can blow up a jet plane though, I mean that's fun. Why let you blow these up if the camera doesn't want you to see what's inside? There's even a upgrade in there. Large cannon! Vulcan cannon power up, you can break iron containers. You can never break before. Are we ready to blow up some iron containers? Let's first blast that chow box to smithereens. Here we go. Oh, you need to find it anyway. There we go. And if you don't, Amo Chow is there to shout at you. You think I didn't know that by now? Well, this level's more fun than the last one anyway, and at least I can actually see what's going on. That always helps. Yes, I have. I'm doing one right now. Amazing, isn't it? Ah. Oh no, lost all my rings down the hole. What is the point of that spring? That's the weakest spring I've ever seen in the Sonic game. The award for the weakest spring. It goes to this random one on the egg base level. It doesn't explain how he got back here off the space station so fast anyway. Wasn't he inside a pyramid in Egypt just a second ago? And then on a spaceship, and now he's just in the middle of the ocean. I swear the developers were just like, yeah, this is a cool scene, let's see how we can fit it in the story. And come up with the loosest possible thread as to why he's suddenly blasting through a military airbase. Oh, there's another one behind me. I can't get it. That's not fair. You know what? When people say they want Sonic Adventure 3, I think people would be disappointed if it was just more like this. Maybe Sega's right. Maybe they were right to move on from this formula and try and do something a little different, even if it never really worked out properly. People are a little blinded by nostalgia, I think. Myself included. But if you look at it objectively, this isn't really as fun as some Sonic games that have come since. Despite how much I love the game, I can still criticise it. Whoa, hello. Yeah, true. What they want is a Sonic game that's just the Sonic and Shadow stages that controls like this. 
Not like one that controls like generations or forces or colours. Because there is a really genuinely good gameplay system here, they just didn't use it properly. In some ways, Sonic Heroes is a better true Sonic game than Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. In the fact that that's the only gameplay style there is. So, you know, I know people have their issues with Sonic Heroes, but it's probably the closest you're going to get. It's like this style of game being a full game with nothing else to pad it out. But I know I'm being negative, but overall I do really still love the game. So I shouldn't complain too much. I've just had a bit of a bad day and I'm taking it out on the game. Yo, there we go. Let's carry on. Will we get Rouge or Shadow? Watch it be another Eggman stage just to trick me. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! On with the show. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm so glad you made it. How does everyone keep mistaking him for Sonic? How did she not notice Dr. Eggman was right there? What was she planning to do then? Could you see in the corner there, the, o the ocean just ends? The world really is flat. We've got a boss fight. Eggman, Eggman versus Tails. I love this music. Wow, that was easy. That was a lot easier than the version that Tails has to fight him in. Woohoo! Now we finally get to do Rouge's level. Steal the three Chaos Emeralds in five minutes. And which way have a timer this time? I'm in position, Doctor. Well, I don't remember it being so foggy in here. I like this music. Here I go. Oh, there's one here already. It's gotta be close. Um, two containers facing each other. Ah, oh, there. That was easy. Two more. Let's do a little flying around, see if it picks it up anywhere. This level's not too big either, so you can kind of do this. No, it is not on this level. So, there it is. There's these pulleys that can lift you up to higher levels. Whoa. Or not. Let's try that again. To go even higher. I know, I know. Give me time, Doctor. Okay, it was green for a second. I should get a hint. Five minutes isn't really long for a treasure hunting level. 
Oh my god. I don't think I need to open the safe. Hey! I can't save you, sorry. Oh, maybe I can. Although, that is not where the emerald is, but... Whatever. Sorry, Doctor, I got distracted. It's getting closer on there. Okay, I think I need a hint. Taking a nap. What does that mean? Oh, it's this guy. Why is he asleep? One, one left. I'm sorry, I only have one minute. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this stage much either. I know, don't shout at me. I have to find a way of getting back in there now. I presume it's in there somewhere. Oh, no, we found a different room. That's not where I was trying to go. just came out of nowhere. Somewhere up here. Invincible guard. I know. It must be in here somewhere. You can't jump properly off that either. Ah, uh, it's so awkward. I don't know where to look. I've only got 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't get that high. I'm going to run out of time. Not that high. Oh, I don't know. Saying it's around here somewhere. I've only got five seconds. I know, I know, I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, now we've got to try and get all three of them again. I think that clue was just flat out lying because there are no dark rooms around here. Well, 
Like, it's just taking me back here again, to this same place. Oh, with all of these... What's it doing under there? That's not even the same one. What? Does this count as a dark room? Apparently. We've locked our way into getting two of them. Maybe I shouldn't complain too much. Although we do need a ring soon. There's one. The letter L. It's gotta be close. Is there a letter L here? I see block B. Why is it red for so long here? Uh, don't tell me off! What's going on? The letter L! Uh, I see the letter G. Everywhere. I don't see the letter L anywhere, what? Is it on the next floor up? Well, we've got two minutes to find it and it should be right here. I, can't. I don't get it, it's right here. Red floor. I don't know what I'm doing. Red floor. L. Letter L. There's no L there. A safe in B block. I can't. I can't. I can't. Am I supposed to be able to I can't. open it somehow? What am I doing wrong? It must be in here. I can't. So I'm not allowed to go in there. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I was ready to have a fun stream tonight. And I'm not having any fun at all. What am I supposed to be? I can't. 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 They won't let me dig anywhere. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Am I missing a power up or something? Restarted again now. Oh, need to go upstairs to unlock them. Uh, even the emerald noise is annoying me now. supposed to do with that? Now I know why you hate this level so much. Uh, 
Alright, there's one. And just fly through the wall, because why not? Hey, there's one. Only one more left. I like it when you find them by accident. Uh, maybe the last one's upstairs. We're gonna run out of time trying to remember how to get up there, now. Oh my god, I hate Eggman's voice! I wish you would stop shouting at me. Room. I hate this room so much. Oh my god, now I'm gonna die. It's gotta be close. Okay, how do I get up there? Is it in that box? Please be in that box, please. Oh, thank god for that. Thank god for that. I hate that so much. Hey, we got a new follower! Edgar Xavier, thank you. You had to endure that torture there. How the hell did I get an A rank after all that? No, we get to do another boss fight. This is Flying Dog Headquarters. Intruder found entering security hole. Preparing to attack. Flying Dog. I thought I could cheese it then. I have no idea how I got an A rank. I think it's because I reset so much and I found that second emerald without having any hints. Wow, these fights are so much easier when you can just play in them. Ah, welcome from YouTube. I'm glad you found me. Can I get him? Ah, not quite. Almost. Let's try and go a bit higher up. This is flying dog headquarters. We're taking heavy damage. Oh no, flying dogs taking heavy damage. Dudes. Flying dog took too much damage, dude. Not bad, huh? Bam, 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 bam. Please let me have a shadow level. I'm dying here. Uh. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a Chaos <laughs> Emerald. I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. Eggman Bobom. Uh, random flashbacks that mean nothing. That's it. Troublemaker. That's the story. 
All right, we have 10 minutes and then the bomb goes off. I still haven't got the light speed dash yet for Shadow. Pop in. I think there's another path you can take down there. I know. Cool music in this stage. On stage two, even if you don't really need to think that much. Oh. Where was that trying to take me? Nowhere. I think 10 minutes is a bit generous for this level. Okay, we want to get this way. Oh, it's almost like a 2D Sonic game for a second. Here we go. Oh, I just realized we didn't get to visit the chairs after Rouge's last stage. Probably won't do it with Shadow this time either. I don't know where the box is on this one. Oh no, I need the light speed dash. I think it's in there. Whoa, the adventure. One second of adventure. I forgot how linear all these stages are. At least the, sec at least the first game lets you explore a little bit. Anyway, I can stop complaining that I don't have the light speed shoes now, at least. Wow, wow. Oh, there's the box. Too late now. I've gone! <laughs> There's no way I'm getting back to that box. And there's a finish. Told you 10 minutes was way too long for that stage. Actually got through it in about three. Not even three minutes. That's so disappointing. Why even show 10 minutes as an option? That's so long Rouge needed. And then you should have gave Shadow the five minutes, not the other way around. Hey, we got another A rank though. Woo! Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again, a faker. I found you, faker. Faker. Everyone's favorite cutscene. Hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me, huh? You're not even. I'll make you eat those words. Now we get to do the same fight as before, but in reverse. And I am not going to attempt to fight Sonic if he's standing on the edge like that. I'm not sure when to attack him, honestly. Like that. Hut, 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 hut. One of them's gonna hurt him. What is the strategy to this fight? Is there one? Somehow that hurt me instead. 
I mean, neither character really has an actual attack, so it's nothing more than just hitting each other on the head until one of you falls unconscious, really. You won't be able to just attack him. Try something to lower his defenses. How about this? Don't listen to him, Sonic. That was advice for me. I'm lowering his defenses. Like a good hedgehog. That worked. I don't think that's what I was meant to do, but that worked. Better get out of there. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Blows up? Chaos control. The first bit of CG in this story. Let's get to enjoy some nice Dreamcast explosions. And then some more weird flashbacks from Shadow. Shadow? What do you think it's like on Earth? Don't go there. The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I... So his idea of making people happy with science was creating a giant cannon to blow the moon up. Okay. Maria. Why so melancholy? That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. Hmm. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the chaos emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? Everything is ready to go. Are you sure? We only have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, you know. That's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me. Here we go, another classic cutscene. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of I'm glad Eggman finally figured out what he wanted to do after the mess that he was in at the start of the game. What a great character arc. Why are people not panicking? They're just standing there watching it. If this was a modern game, they'd all have their phones out. I just noticed what it says on the screens going across the side there. It says Eggman is great. Why are you so upset? Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. 
Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, Batgirl. What about that last Chaos Emerald? We had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? This station square saved from a life-threatening missile attack. The city has awarded its famed prize to the boy. There you go, some more Sonic Adventure 1 back backstory. Miles Tails Per Hour was given the Chaos Emerald as a testament of his heroic deed at a ceremony held at City Hall. <clears throat> this makes things a whole lot easier. Hurry, go back to Earth and find them fast. I want that Chaos Emerald! Did you get that? Soon enough, Maria. So, Tails was awarded an emerald at the end of the first, first game, apparently. ...if Shadow is the ultimate life form or not. I will continue my research on Project Shadow and have a follow-up report very shortly. Just a reminder, don't forget about my jewel. Who's she talking to? So, the capital city, is that actually supposed to be Station Square from the first game? I think it might be. I'm picking up the hey, this is a nice change of pace too. <sighs> it still didn't stop me from yawning. I had to wake up early this morning because uh, the fire alarm ran out of batteries in the night and it started beeping and the dog got really upset. To go and take the battery out, and that was at like six o'clock in the morning. So I haven't had that much sleep. And I've had a pretty slow day at work as well, not really that much happened today. I'm training for a Microsoft exam, and it's very boring stuff. And it's really hard because I don't really have the proper permissions to actually do the stuff that it's teaching me to do. So it's just a lot of reading and trying to visualize where things are. And it's so boring. I just want to make things. But oh well, if it means I get more money in the future. To spend on games. And stream upgrades and things. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm already thinking about needing a bigger studio, to be honest. I've pretty much outgrown this space already. Even though I only moved in a year ago. But unfortunately, when we moved into the house, we took out some loans to do some redevelopment, so we can't really get an extension or rent anywhere out at the minute, so I'm kind of stuck until we paid them off. I'll make two. I actually quite like the controls on this driving section. I know a lot of people complain about them. But I think they feel pretty nice. Whoa, look at that power drifting. Feels better than the Daytona game that came out on the Dreamcast anyway. That was a twitchy mess. Unless you use a steering wheel. It's really weird, the cars kind of like snap into either drifting mode or regular steering mode. What happened? I didn't even know that happened if you land on a jump like that.
Okay, so the city isn't Station Square then. Even though it mentions it, so they're at least part of the same universe. <clears throat> Whoa, we got a new minigame. Yay, another shadow level. I remember this one being quite annoying because of all the rails that you have to try and grind on. Shadow. They're so in we'll see how I do. Spotted at 11 o'clock. Just don't jump from one rail to the other while you're actually grinding on it. And you'll be fine. I learnt that the hard way after many, many failed attempts at this stage. Do not change rails. It will end in disaster. And it's a lot nicer if you actually have the bounce ability on this stage as well. Which I don't have yet. Oh yeah, I can't do anything with them yet either. Ready? I always like getting a nice speed boost on there before we get on this rail. Woo! Man, I love this kind of gameplay. Why can't there be more of it? It's such a shame. The game would be fantastic if it just consisted of this. Yeah, that was perfect. You have to get really lucky if you want to land on that bit there where I just did. Woo. Look how short the stage is though, it's so sad. One minute 42. Oh, it deserves to be like five times the length. That was a good run though. Is that an A? Really? Was it so hard? Is it because I didn't get enough rings? It's insane the amount of time you wait to play a stage like that and then it's over in the blink of an eye. Genuinely upset. There's so much potential here. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do? Hey look, it's Pumpkin Hill in the background. But I'll be sure to give them a warm welcome. Yeah, they needed to like double the length of every speed stage, really. At least. Please don't make me do another pyramid level. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think you could get out of here on yeah. Come and get some, Eggman! Just leave it to me! This time, I'll take it. As well as the Chaos Emerald, I call on you to destroy these pests! Come on, my servant! Is this the Egg Golem fight? Yeah, I love this boss fight. Probably one of my favourite fights. Unfortunately, we don't get to play it again. At least I don't think so. It'd be cool if you got to play as it and fight Sonic. That'd be fun. Well, I don't remember it being that easy. Sonic struck his head. You 
must have broken the restraining mechanism. I think this was just an excuse to play Sonic's theme tune again. Oh, we do get to fight him. He's gone crazy, and we get to fight him as Eggman. Wow. If I remember right, there's like things on the back of him that you need to hit. I completely forgot about this fight. This one. Uh, I can't go fast enough. Oh my god, I died. Oh my god. Okay, let's try again. I'll be a bit more careful. His weak point is his entire body. Yeah. Why can I not aim forward? I've destroyed his nipples, now what? Whoa. Okay, calm down. I remember there's some health down here. Or at least some rings, I guess that helps. That's it. Destroyed all three of his nipples and now he's dead. Bam, 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 bam. I don't think you get ranked on the boss fights, do you? No, but we do get another CG cutscene. I always used to enjoy this one. On. Lift off countdown. Ten, nine, I thought it looked so cool. Seven, six, Look at the way the Sonic runs into it and the way the lighting is so cool and stuff. Shuttle. I don't know whether they would have left the door to the shuttle open with two seconds to go before launch, but let's not question that. So, that explains how Sonic got back into space, but what about everyone else? Are they just going to magically appear back there again? Let's just say there's more Hi, spaceships. Doctor. How's it going? What? What do you mean they escaped? That's okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony control? <laughs> Tricking that old doctor is just too easy. All right, it's time to get to work. The password is Maria. Maria, hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. well, you know, the pyramids were built by aliens. What's to say they don't have spaceships inside them? This is it. Research Project Shadow. The ultimate life form. Let's see now. Project Shadow is actually supposed to be a weird lizard. This can't be right. Just what is Shadow anyway? Hmm. I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. She just ran away because she didn't like that noise. Oh no, here we go. This is a nightmare level. If you thought the other levels were bad, you haven't seen anything yet. Find three pieces of the Master Emerald in mad space. I'll be going mad trying to get through this level. I have this music ingrained in my brain from the torture that this level has served me over the years. I haven't even got the ability to break those boxes open yet. Am I supposed to get that soon? Oh, 
I went right past one. Oh my god, really? It's right there? No way. Yeah, so welcome to Super Mario Galaxy of Sonic Adventure. With the most awkward physics in existence. Sometimes you snap to the gravity of the planet, sometimes the controls just flip upside down for no reason. Oh yeah, all the all the codes are in reverse as well. Yay, a new follower! Thank you, DanZ80. Appreciate it. Um Too, too close to the forest to see the trees. What does that mean? Look at these weird, 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 weird physics. Why am I crawling up the side if the gravity goes round? And then, the only way to escape it is to find a very specific spring. Or to keep flying and hope that you snap out of its gravity field. Like, oh, okay, now I'm outside the gravity. And then if I go too close, I'll snap back on again. I mean, it's a cool concept, but... A very high place. And sometimes they're actually reversed as well, so a very high... Ah, look at this! I am holding down... I'm walking sideways, now I'm walking up, now I'm walking down, now I'm walking up. I'm literally just holding down and doing nothing else. And it's making me spin around like that. So now I have to hold up and down to get past that point on the stage. And it still won't correct itself. It is horrible. Genuinely horrible. Look at this. I am not even pressing anything. It just wants me to go over here. And at some point, it might decide to flip me around, or it might not. And it's extremely difficult. I'm not. I'm not going that way. I'm holding right. It just doesn't make any sense. And there's no telling that the emerald is even on this map. Anyway. So it's a cool concept with terrible, terrible execution. Like, I'm trying to get on there, but I have no idea what direction I need to press. And I can't get off this rock. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here anymore. Genuinely, I don't know how to get off. Oh, is there something in there? Hey, maybe we're not supposed to get off yet. Increases your kick power. Ow! What were you trying to tell me? Sorry. Okay, I think we found a rocket. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. And asteroids that come out of nowhere and have the chance of killing you if you haven't got any rings. Through absolutely no fault of your own because you can't see them coming. Fantastic. Okay, this one's back down here apparently. Now we can smash these boxes open. Why though? I don't want to go back on there! Oh no. I'm locked in again. I need to go back to the start of the level apparently. Really? Oh my god. I hate this. 
Hey, it brought us back to where we wanted to be. Be very careful. Apparently, it has changed the emerald as well because it was supposed to be right here, and now it's not. Now it's saying somewhere on a blue area, which is a lie, so it actually means like a red area or something. Oh yeah. And it's not only the planets, there's also all these other bits higher up as well, but you can't move the camera to actually see what's going on or where you need to look. So expect us to be here for a while. I hope you're all doing something else at the same time. The highest place means they as low down as possible. Is there even anything any lower than this, or am I just going to die now? Oh, okay, that's it, I'm dead. <sighs> Messy storage. I'm tempted just to restart because it said to go low down, but I am low down and the radar isn't going off at all. I'm going to restart. Let's try this level again from the beginning. Machine number three with three legs. Detector readings are reversed. Be very careful. Uh, see what I mean about how big this level is? It, it just gets insane. And I hate the fact that you can only find one em emerald at a time. So you might be up here thinking there's nothing here, but there actually is. But you have to come back later because you don't know about it. Because they really like to pad this game out and make it as annoying and drawn out as possible. Supposed to be on here somewhere. Okay. And I lost the gravity for some reason. Nothing of any importance. I can't believe that I used to say Sonic Adventure 2 was one of my favourite Sonic games. It's quickly going down the ranks. It's not on the top of the machine with pipes on the capsule meteorite. indicate it's somewhere around here. Hey, I can see it. There we go, we're one down. We're free, we broke free. Let's see if the radar picks anything up over here. A quick run around on this planet. There was a TV we can use though. 
The star under the... That doesn't mean much. On its own. The only reason that people say this is the best Sonic game is because this is the one they grew up with. At times it doesn't even feel like a Sonic game. Like... If you showed this to someone that didn't know it was a Sonic game... I don't know whether you would be able to tell. I don't know how to get off this stupid island again. I thought there was supposed to be a rocket up here. How am I supposed to? What am I missing? Oh, the switch. Oh, there we go. This is the capsule planet. Okay. What does the capsule planet do? Looks like it's a machine of some sort. How do I get off the damn capsule planet? Please, let me off. I'm so sick of this already. on that planet either. Where do I want to go? There's something about a star. Must be higher up, I guess. Okay, let's keep going. Higher and higher and higher. Okay, we're getting close here. Is it on about this? That's a star. What did it say? The star under the light. A moon on a yellow platform near an inverted tower. Ah, here's another one. It must be in there. One more um, at the base of the tilted lights. I don't know what it means about lights. What's a tilted light? Hey, we found a chow garden. The smallest meteorite. I'm gonna go back down. Is it in there? 
this. Yeah, we must be close. Don't dig at the base of the long... Long light? What do you mean long light? Oh, is it here on the side? Okay, 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 I think it's around here. Ah, the sound was going crazy then. A rank! That's gotta be an E, right? Yeah. I'm ashamed to call myself a hunter. That took forever. I'm so glad that's over. Uh, I need a bit of a breather now. Welcome to Chai World. Welcome back. For a nice change of pace and change of scenery after that horrible level. Oh my god, brought a load of stuff with me. Who's up there today? I presume his stats are getting better. Should we try one of the races? Let's try, that might be a nice palate cleanser. See if I can remember what you're supposed to do. Begin a race. He's changed so much, I don't recognise him anymore. Okay, level one. There's a lot of different races to choose from. Okay, at least I'll know which one he is, not like when I was playing Adventure 1. So the idea is, at least I think, to cheer them on at certain points before you run out of energy and help them get to the end of the race. Whoa, is my name big enough? Hey, wake up! How's his swimming? That's pretty good. Oh, weird. So L and R are a cheer for some reason. This is a nice little breather. And you don't really need to do anything other than just watch him. And cheer if it looks like he's getting behind. Cheer on a bit more. It's near the end. He's way ahead. Look, a little retro go. Woohoo! This music's weird. It sounds like I've won and lost at the same time. Okay, what do I get for that? I don't really want to do more of them. <laughs> I don't get anything! At least for doing one of them. You probably have to do all of them if you want one of the emeralds. Emblems. Alright, let's get back to the story. You can tell how excited I am to get back to the story. I really enjoyed the hero story as well. Why is the dark one so... Difficult to enjoy. Oh well. Long time no see, treasure hunter. Go fight. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald. Talking to you is a waste of time. Hand over those master emeralds. Give them to me. 
now. No, else there would be no more story. What is he doing? <laughs> Apparently we both hurt each other then. I never really know how you're supposed to actually hurt the opponents on these character fights. It's always just luck. It's like they just have the same random mash the attack buttons as you do. Where is he? What is he doing anyway? Is he even trying to attack me? He's just squashing himself in the corner for some reason. Look at Rouge's shadow, how it's just like random balls. Does anyone else understand when you're actually meant to attack? Just making it up the whole time. There we go, just button mash. That's the best way to get through them. Just like Song Calibur. The way she said that after him was almost like she was actually copying him rather than saying it at the same time. Somehow he instantly put it back together. What? I'm sorry if I hurt you. Where did he put it? That's what I want to know. We should get going. You can't run that way, that's glass. I think she just knocked herself out. What's Rouge up to anyway? This is strange. Just lying unconscious on the floor. Two separate chaos emeralds. Did they really think they could trick me with that fake emerald? Wait, Shadow. I'm the one who should be telling them the end is near, not you. Now is the time to end this long drawn out battle. In history as the ultimate genius. Suddenly he's got more more determination. Oh no, this is the like ten minute long Eggman level that I was warning you all about. Cosmic Wall. Cool music, and I like the un the like low gravity theme. But the level just goes on and on and on. Yo, 
there isn't really anything to say about these levels. They're just so empty. So basic. There's like no challenge involved at all. It. I'm going to wait for it to come back. See, that's the most interesting thing that's happened so far. I missed grabbing onto that switch. Why do I do this to myself? I could be playing Pikmin 4 right now. Which I'm really, really enjoying, by the way. Anyone who's watching or listening, if you've got a switch, absolutely recommend Pikmin 4. I love it so much. Whoa, we got a better shield, I think. And I can't see where I'm going. Woo! Are we going down? I guess so. I was thinking when Pikmin 1 and 2 come out physically. I'll play them on stream, because I really enjoy them, especially the first one. You have to be really strategic to try and get everything done in the, um, I think it's the 30 day time limit. That could be really fun to replay on stream. The second one's a lot more open-ended and you don't have that limit, so... We could go on a lot longer, which might not be that great on stream. But the first one's, like, I'd say three streams long, which is doable without getting too bored of playing the same game over and over again. Because I've been thinking about what games I want to do on stream, and I don't really want to play games that take any longer than, like, three streams. Or I guess four, because then that would be a whole month. I think that's pretty much as long as my attention span will last playing one game on stream anyway. So I want to keep up a nice variety of different things. Here and on the channel. I need rings. There's just nothing interesting about these levels at all. It's literally just do the same thing over and over and over. With no change in difficulty or anything. I haven't played Pikmin 1 in a long time, but I remember it being more enjoyable to replay because you have to really focus on what you're doing to try and get everything done in the days that you're allotted, which is really fun, you know, try and get the most out of all the treasures. You really have to worry about how many like different coloured Pikmin you've got and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to replaying that. I'd love to replay Pikmin 3 as well, because I remember when that came out on the Wii U, I was I was obsessed with it. I thought it was like the best thing Nintendo had ever made. 
And I don't quite feel the same way with 4 yet. I feel like 4 is a little bit too easy. And they're introducing things a little bit too slowly. But I've heard it gets better, especially towards the end of the game. So I'm going to stick with it. I love the strategy that Pikmin 3 gave you with all the different characters that you can play as in the same level and like flicking between them and using the gamepad as the as a map at all times as well and you don't really get any of that on the Switch. So it's a little bit of a step backwards in some regards. But the graphics are incredible in 4. I'm absolutely blown away by what Nintendo has been able to do with the uh, Unreal Engine. A lot of the GameCube era was peak Nintendo, honestly. Strangely, apart from Mario, Mario took a bit of a weird turn on the GameCube. But I'd say GameCube has the best Zelda games. Obviously, it's got F Zero GX, which is amazing. Two incredible Pikmin games. The best Mario Kart. The list can go on. The best Animal Crossing. I guess technically that's an N64 game in disguise, but we got it on the GameCube here, so it counts. This level just goes on and on and on and on and on. We're over eight minutes now. Look at the skill and challenge involved here, which is literally just aim forward. Here we go. Eight minutes of... Eight and a half minutes of doing nothing. I guess. Yeah, I agree. Pikmin on the Wii is the best. You can't beat the pointer controls on the Wii. Hey, first time chat from Jizzle Me Timbers. I like your username. Hello. I'm just realised I'm a bit low down, aren't I? Little innocent girl like me alone. Well, well, young. I moved my table to make it a bit higher, and since I did that, it's messed up the webcam. If you value your life, you will tell me where Sonic and Tails are. They're probably also floating around in space somewhere. Oh, they're right in front of you. How could you not see them? How did he not see Tails? Tails wasn't even behind the door. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your Come on, we've already seen this. If you really care for her. Handing over the fake Emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone! Put the Emerald down right there and back off! First time I've been able to pop in due to time zones. Yay! I'm glad you could catch it. You've missed most of my frustration with this game. I've really not been enjoying myself with this dark story. Last week's hero story was much more fun. So, how did you know it wasn't the real world? But we've got one more cool shadow level coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. Eggman gave Sonic his best level by shooting him down there. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. 
I love that scene. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Sonic! <gasps> oh no, what happened to Sonic? <sighs> I'm not bored that Sonic almost died, honestly. What time is it where you are then? Just on me, Timbers. What time zone are you in at the minute? Let's fight Tails. Is it? Oh wow, you've woke up early today then. What have you done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, I hope I'm not distracting you from work. 7 a.m. is too early to work. Tell your boss that you should be allowed to have a few hours to watch Twitch. Ah, I can't get out of the way. Oh my god, oh my god. What have you done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you. It's okay, I, I always watch streams or YouTube while I'm working as well. Get ready to walk on when Tails comes close or when you're behind him. That's the best thing to do here, get like that. I'm scared of him using his giant laser. Okay, 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 I can't get out of the way of it. It's too fast. Okay. Oh wow, I blew him up. Cool. I'll take that. It is just gone 10 o'clock at night here in the UK. I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. Legend has it, when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. All mine. I don't think so. Shadow. So that was your plan from the very beginning. Why is Shadow whispering? Was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. You're that government spy, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? If they already knew about her. I would say that. He knew her name already. And if he knew that there was a government spy called Rouge the Bat, how did he not put two and two together? I thought it was time to take what's mine and get out of this place. You are one pathetic creature. Hmm. Look who's talking. What about you? Here are the results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But if this picture is of the real ultimate life form named Shadow, then exactly... Oh, there was some actual writing on that note then. I might go back and pause that later and see what it actually said on there. Chaos Emeralds where they are. The fake emerald is good enough for you. Do you actually believe that you're the real shadow? No doubt. Even your memories might not be real. Did he even read that thing that she gave him? Memories are not real. It's still me, Shadow. And I will fulfill my promise to Maria. That's the only thing that matters to me now. What was his promise? To destroy the world? I thought it was supposed to make the world better. How is blowing it up going to help? Well... Never mind. Anyway, now we get a cool rail grinding level! Woo! Oh yeah, I remember this level. I 
think I've missed some of the power-ups because I'm supposed to be able to um, do a fire attack when I spin, I think. At least I remember him doing that. This level's quite different to Sonic's one. There's loads of these weird green spinny things everywhere. They're, they're quite fun to traverse, so I won't question it being too different. I'm a bit worried about all those um, asteroids everywhere, though. Ah! That's not fair! I got stuck underneath the platform, then. Whoa! Where's that sending me? Oh my god. Okay, we're on the right side this time. Which one should we take? Red, blue, or yellow? Let's go yellow. Oh, there wasn't anything down there anyway. Just five rings. What's the point of that? Oops. Okay, that one goes somewhere. Music's crazy on this stage as well. Not exactly catchy like Sonic's one. This is edgy music. For dark hedgehogs only. I did not want to attack him, I just wanted to go on there. Maybe it's better if I don't do the home and attack, then I can just get straight onto the platform. We spin dash, spin dash, spin dash! Boom! Ah! Shall we jump this time? That's what you want me to do, game. Oh, cool. I don't know whether I was supposed to land there, but I did. I don't think I've ever been up there before. I don't think the game wanted me to be up there. Hey, we've got a new chat. DJ T1N Man. Hello. I'm kind of phasing out the homebrew content, unfortunately, because I got really bored of a lot of the games not being very good. So, maybe if I find some good games in the future, I'll bring it back, but it's not really a priority at the minute. But there's plenty of stuff for you to look back on. Hundreds of homebrew videos, too many. Yeah, I was I was spending way too much money on games that I just wasn't enjoying. Money and time. I was getting to be a bit of a slug every time one turned up in the post and then I thought like, uh oh, I can't play anything else now because I'm having to I don't know, spend the next two weeks playing this game that I'm not really enjoying that much to do a video on. It was getting me kinda of down in a way. So yeah, no homebrew. For now. But maybe I'll come back. Never say never. Oh wow, I can't even break them boxes open yet. Oops. What is the point of breaking them up there like that? Oh, that's the end of the stage. I was enjoying that. Go. 
The DJ Tin Man Inch. <coughs> Interesting username. I guess I'm not at full power here. Want to see something cool that I got earlier? Well, you probably can't make it out. I got myself a 3D printer. You never see it's, uh, it's running downstairs right now. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. Something, something. Why is speed running mostly the radical left? Something, something. Just looking like What are you anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. See, but you know, I can't let you live. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. They actually are. There was no more Sonic Adventure after this. And this was, what, 20, 22, 23 years ago now? How sad is that? There hasn't been another proper Sonic Adventure game in 22 years. All right, Shadow. When you think about how old this game is, it is actually really impressive that it's as good as it is. Like, mostly, the gameplay's fun. Now watch me once again. I've no real idea how I'm actually supposed to hurt Sonic here, other than just. Oh no, oh no. I can't get back up there. Uh, I think the idea is that you're supposed to use the light speed dash when he's um, just joined right in the middle of that uh, section of rings in the center of the level. Oh, am I getting closer? Like, like if he was there now, then you'd be able to use the light speed dash on him. I've never properly understood how to do this. Outside of doing that and just hoping that I'll get a hit or two in, and then try and dash forward as much as possible. Whoa! That kind of worked, and I got spat off the side of the stage. All right, Shadow. Yeah, oh, yeah. I do like this music actually. It's pretty cool. That was close. I think the soundtrack to this game in general is really good. Definitely one of the best things about it. I don't know why Sonic cuts out every time he tries to speak. Oh, use, yep. Yep. Is he supposed to be saying, I'll use your Chaos Control? Because he's fighting Shadow and Shadow's the one who actually uses Chaos Control. Am I supposed to slow down a bit so that he's in the middle of the rings? If I wait here... No. If I wait too long, the platform just collapses. That's it. Hey, it actually worked! Yeah, maybe I just have to be a bit... Um... Hey, that backfired that time. Whoa, that was close. I almost fell down again. Okay, one more hit. I like it when you get a good streak of doing the light speed dash and the camera keeps panning out. Almost. I left it too late. Uh, 
We're going backwards. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I only had one hit left. Damn it. <clears throat> Just spam spin dash and home attack. I think what you meant to do is what I was doing before, like. Wait until he's in the middle of the set of rings there and then dash through. Like there. But if you wait too long, the platform. Oh, do that roll, roll attack instead, maybe. There must be a proper way of doing it. <laughs> but honestly, I've never understood how to attack any of the characters. How to do any of the character fights, really. Maybe I can try a spin dash. Oh, that worked. Oh my god, he actually said you're then, not just you. Wait, is that all you're supposed to do? Maybe I just got lucky. Died from an asteroid impact. I thought that might have hurt him then. <gasps> Damn it! Ah, oh, with one hit left again. No. Ah, oh, why do I keep doing that? I get too excited when there's one hit left and just try and use the homing attack too much. Use your what am I supposed to do? Well, at least I never need to worry about running out of lives. What? What the hell happened there? I just did a little somersault. How come he gets to use multiplayer attacks anyway? Chaos control. I'm not done with you yet. I don't know why he started doing these attacks. He wasn't doing them earlier. So dangerous using the homing attacks. Oh, we got another hundred rings. That should have hurt him. That was right in the middle of the rings. And again. And it didn't do anything. Again. Well, that did. Maybe you have to mix it up. I'm trying to figure out how to officially do this fight. I'm failing miserably. Does anyone watching know how to actually do this fight?
The only way I'm seemingly hitting him is just getting lucky. Okay, gotta be a bit careful now. He's only got one more hit. Uh, I got a bit scared then. I'll just take as long as it takes. We've only got one more hit left. Yay, we did it. I failed. I told you. I would say I did it on purpose, but I didn't. Apparently doing it as he's about to attack you using his special move works. <laughs> this completes my plan to take over the world. Now begins the glorious era of the Empire of Eggman. Who's ready for the Eggman Empire era? Oh yeah, when I finish this stream soon, I'm actually going to raid my girlfriend who's doing some artwork at the minute. She usually streams the same time as me, and I always tell her that I'm going to raid her channel, but I always forget, so... Stick with me after these credits, and then we can jump over to Risu Chu together. Uh, if I can find her on the list. But yeah, what did people think of Sonic Adventure Dark Story? It's uh, painful. Well, there is another story as well. We'll do that next time. There's a... Uh, I don't know what it's called. The final story or the true ending. So there's another like set of levels and then a big proper boss fight and stuff at the end. That was just the end of this section of the game. Enjoy this weird, weird music. Well, we did it. That's all we can say. We did it. For better or worse, we beat Dark Story. I, I did not remember how painfully average that was. There's only like... Let me have a think. What levels did I actually enjoy? Skyrail? Honestly, that might be the only one. Yeah. Maybe um, Rouge's level in the Oasis was okay. Oh, and Radical Highway. Shadow's first stage is cool. But yeah, compared to the hero story, nowhere near as good. And next, or well, next week now, I'm going to do it next week, we have the final ending, which is like a mix of all the characters in one giant stage. Which I remember being pretty fun, so we'll see how that holds up to my memories of it. But honestly, I'm glad that that's over, because that was painful. And what I'm going to do after this... I've got a few out here. I'm actually doing a Game Boy Best Games video, so I've actually got a few games out here. We've got Zelda Link's Awakening, Mario Land, Wario Land 2, and Bubble Bubble, and a few more. So I'm going to be doing some gameplay recording. And hopefully in the next few weeks there'll be a new top Game Boy games video, which I think will do really well on the channel. And of course I'm still writing up my script for the original Sonic Adventure for the replay video, but I want to make sure that's really good, so I'm taking my time with it and I think it's going to be a great video. 
hopefully something that people keep coming back to like over the years every time someone searches sonic adventure i want it to be like a big video that people like to find and you know find my channel through it and stuff so we'll see how that goes and we unlocked a bunch of random things hooray Oh yeah, here we go, a little preview. Super Sonic. Untamed power. Maria Zero. Professor Gerald the truth about 50 years ago. Sonic Adventure 2. Last episode. Wishes are eternal. I don't know what they were thinking with these like weird 90s TV adverts for the different story modes. They're so weird. There's like random different fonts everywhere. And it's just a mess. Right. That's it for me, but everyone stick around because I'm going to send you over to Risu Chu. She is an amazing artist, so enjoy. And hopefully I'll do this right. And when it says everyone is ready, we can all jump over and surprise her. But yeah, thanks everyone for coming by today. I did enjoy it, despite my... Despite my complaining. I don't know whether the raids... Worked? Did I click off it? Okay, so let's try again. Stick around. I'm still kind of new to this. Okay. Raid's ready. Let's try that. 